Welcome back to Politics Watch. This is Serpy. Now today I'm going to talk about an old saying in Jamaica that um, been around from well, definitely before I was born because my normal born come here that saying, and that saying is if you can't catch Walker, you catch him short. And how that saying has evolved to a point where we simply have to retire it. We have to retire that saying, and we have to retire that culture because too many people end up doing a medaris and off guard when they haven't done anything at all purely than to be related or even know somebody before i go into the case that is me going to talk about that let me just say big up the decision makers over there at woolmas um because um people have been messaging me and telling me that a couple of the boys um have been already expelled from out of the school and the rest of them are on their way out Right, and of course them a ball and a beg and a plead and of course the parents are telling us how they don't call for Right. Now, let me just say, um, they mute there. I hope they get them life on track. Right, I hope they fix it themselves. Because they're going to get into another school. Um, listen, we don't want young men wandering around the streets in a, um, at that age when they should be in school. But at the same time, you have to have standards, you have to have rules, you have to have regulations, and you have to bend the tree from it young. So yes, then you go to one prestigious school, then you might get to know another one, then you turn them life around and fix it themselves, right? The last thing Jamaica need is more waste, man, right? So you then have nobody to blame but on yourself. Fix up, wheel and come again, right? Anyway, let's go back into this Quarko business. Now, the story coming out of Negril, right? Is that a father and a daughter, a man by the name of Van Le Kerr, right, and his daughter named Brianna Kerr, who is an 18-year-old student, end up losing them life. And how them lose them life is apparently, man coming at the place, cause the, the the man, Van Van Le Kerr, um, he owns a, a shop, right, and his daughter working at the shop. Brilliant, I love that because we see that all the time with the Chinese man, right? We see the Chinese man having him, him, him shop. And him, and him having daughter and him, and him, him pitney them and him wife and him in the shop family from generation to generation I love to see that I love to see when Jamaicans um, especially uh, various generations can operate a business right and put food on them table but of course here comes 87's always ready to destroy a good thing right because they them come to the man shop and go let them out the business right and within no time them stick up the people them and ask for Crystal. Now Crystal is another one of them and daughter. Right? So Brianna and daughter who was in the shop, right, and apparently she had just come back to the shop right the, at the moment when the man name come, as you say. Boy, bad luck reading on the timing, right? Or bad luck always come at the worst time. Because just as the man name come, she had arrived shortly before that and gone behind the counter. The man name come in, asked for Crystal, Crystal wasn't there, right? I guess they were annoyed at that, right? Because it seemed like a crystal them come for, or them come to take out crystal. And I guess, as I say, the saying goes, if you can't catch Quarko, you catch him short, right? And in this case, the shot was Van Lee Kerr, um, crystal's father, and her sister, Brianna. Now, people, listen. The two of them run out, right? The daughter and the father, but they didn't get far. People end them find them suffering from wounds, rush them to hospital, but it was too late. But people understand this. The culture of if you can't catch Quarko, you catch him short. It's been around for a very long time, as I say before my born. But when you really think about it, it's actually one of the dumbest concepts you can ever think of. It it, it defies logic, right? And if, if even even from the, the perspective of a 87, using it in a conflict with somebody, it still don't make sense. Because let me tell you this. If you come for somebody, let's say two man, two 87s uh, um, have a problem. And you go for one of them and can't catch him. And you end up taking out him sister or him mother or him baby mother or him pitney. All you've done is made that person 100 times more heated. Right? That person is even more determined than ever to make you end up being a murderess. That person will now dedicate the rest of their life trying to get revenge for that loved one who you've taken out. And not only that, you've taken out people who were not 
um, well, could literally be described as civilians. They were not 87s, right? And even the criminals in the old Italian Costa Nostra, right, or the mob, however you want to call them, even they had rules. Listen, leave the families alone. A lot of criminal organizations all around the world have, organized, have, have certain rules and regulations. Listen, leave family members and friends out of it. People who are not engaged in this lifestyle, leave them alone. But of course, we can't expect Jamaican 87s to follow rules. Jamaican 87s have no regard for rules, whether, whether it's, it's, it's laws that come from the government or even their own criminal laws. Because remember, I know people, every law where your 87 claims to them, them live by, them brought them. Where 87s love ball out, don't inform. Don't snitch. We know that inform of the dead. When them get old and pan, and them able to 30 years, what well, the first thing them do? Then transform in a ratus kratus. Right? So we know they don't have no honor. We know they don't have any rules. There is no honor amongst 87s. Right? But this whole concept of can't catch quark or you catch him shot is getting out of hand. How many more stories do we have to do for people who come to somebody, couldn't get that person and take out the family member? People of Jamaica, switch on. It can be you, you know. Listen, seven brothers, seven different minds. You might say, you might be a law abiding citizen. Go your work, you know, trouble nobody. You just get up, make your money. Go up on your little vacation, drive your own little car, wherever. But your cousin, your bridge your uncle, decides to him want to be criminal. And because him want money, not things, man see you upon the road and lick you down and wet you up and send you a dove card. You cannot have a relaxed attitude towards this. This is why I'm saying this if you can't catch quarker mentality, has to go. It must go. Right? And the whole concept of, and, and, and listen, as I say, we, we, we've all heard the, 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 the songs of our year. We dance and jump to them, right? We've seen the movies, we've, we've seen all the, listen, it's culture, right? One thing you can't say about therapy is that I don't acknowledge culture, and I've never act like I, the culture is alien to me. I know exactly what Jamaica's culture is like, right? There was a time come when people used to celebrate certain things. People, let me, let me show you our reasoning. Because if, if, you, if, you if you are wrong, we're about at 7 minutes at the end of the video and from my analytics I can see that this is the part of the video where, where my loyal subscribers are still around, right? right? I know based on percentages where, where people like, who are like casual viewers start to drop off and my loyal subscribers are still around. So I'm talking to my loyal subscribers now because I'm still there after about 7.5 minutes, right? I wanna argue nothing new and exciting. We're not talking about no cans man and on today. So we're not lawyer subscribers if you're still listening at this point. Let me give you a decent reason right now. Have you noticed certain type of music, certain type of lyrical content is no longer being promoted in Jamaica? Who remember the time when if you were a DJ and you say in farmer, forget wet up, that was an instant forward. So, oh, make my reason. Who remember those days? When if you did want, when you did want, an easy forward and get the code for Boss Blank, just take the mic and say, yo, inform of the dead and peer blank. Blah, 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 blah. People are Boss Blank. Who noticed that gone now? Who noticed those days are done? You know why? Because the Jamaican people no longer have a stomach for you them thing there. The Jamaican people no longer subscribe to that foolish concept that people, right, who law-abiding citizens who are trying to report crime to get rid of criminals from communities for dead. People now realize that is complete foolishness. People no longer celebrate foolishness. And I have to give Jamaican culture credit where it's due. I have noticed people no longer promote the idea saying farmer for dead. They don't. Because people realize say, hey, one of those informers, so-called informers, might be the difference between my mother, my sister, my auntie getting some justice. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Law-abiding citizens cannot be informers. Law-abiding citizens cannot be snitches. Right? The whole never snitch, don't snitch, that is criminal culture. That is criminal rules and criminal laws. 
things that law abiding citizens do not abide by i don't abide by that ridiculous concept say oh if me do something and, and me get catch and you never get catch me need to go do my time no no no, no i don't abide it i don't I, I never sign up for them papers eh? which, which part of them me never sign my signature on that show me the paper when me sign up for that me never sign up for that lifestyle eh? me never sign up for nothing until the man say oh me go ride or die and go do 100 years behind bars if me no sign up for something that's criminal law and even the same criminals them are not abiding by their own law so why would law abiding citizens abide by it that's ridiculous and as i said just like how people take time fears out the informer for their culture this is how we need to fears out certain other things out of the culture people we have the power to do it we have the power to do it stop celebrate stop promote stop give forward to certain full full talk and watch it slowly fade away right this is why i'm saying the next thing we need to fears out is if you can't catch quark or you catch him shot um culture and of course when this when this saying originally come around jimmy did not have 12 one day 13 on the people like every year so let's make that clear the people who originated this concept probably had no idea that down the road right it, it, it could be used in this context they probably meant it for something much simpler because way back then jimmy never had the crime problem it have no nevertheless this culture this mentality has to go it is ridiculous defies our logic but then again when have ad7s ever operated on logic hey trans squad big up on yourself please like comment and share the video bless